So, Ulanzi, never heard of them before. This is the little array of bits they've sent me. Um, I was in contact with them when I spoke to them. I was in contact with them and I said, you know, I was interested in some little bits and pieces to go for a, a new little camera. And uh, they said, that's fine. Would I please have a look at them and tell them what I think? Sure, don't mind doing stuff like this, especially when we can't get out and about. I don't mind doing videos like this at all. And I really don't. So what's it all about? It's about this little array of gear here. This is about the best little kit you're gonna get for your perfect small video vlogging camera. Um, it doesn't get much better than this for a small kit. Now, I've been using it for the last couple of days and I'm absolutely made up with it. The only thing I'm not used yet is the little clip that's in this bag at the front here. I'm just gonna quickly explain what I've got and then I'm gonna show you what I've got. Um, I've got a, a little light, a little mini lamp, which is absolutely fantastic. I've got a little mini tripod that extends out so you can actually do selfies. I've got an ND8 grad or an ND8 filter that goes on the front. I haven't used that yet, I'll be honest with you, I haven't used that yet, but I will do when the sun gets out and really, really bright. I've got this little clip that goes on the bottom which converts the bottom flippy GoPro uh, mount to a uh, quarter inch thread, so you can mount it to anything. Uh, I've also got a new door to go on the side with a hole in it, so you can actually plug it in and plug it out uh, without um, having to take the cover off. And on this other packet, which isn't here, it's actually on the camera at the moment, I've got uh, a little case, which is absolutely perfect for keeping it protected. And it's in the case at the moment on its little tripod. Look at this, how fantastic is this? Now at the moment I've got, I'm using the actual um, GoPro mount at the bottom, because like I say, I haven't screwed that on the bottom. It comes with these tiny, weeny, tiddly little screws and a little Allen key wrench for it, a little torque wrench. Um, so you can fit it on the bottom of it. But as you can see, it's in this nice little bag at the moment. It's in this case, very well protected and it's perfectly zipped. So you can leave it on the tripod and this case fits on the top. It's a hard case, it's a protective case. And all you've got to do is unzip it and out it pops. How fantastic is that? There's no messing around. It keeps the lens nice and clean. It keeps the back screen protected. You just literally drop it in, zip it up and that's it. Like that, you can throw it on the floor even. wasn't planned <laughs> I actually let go of it because I've got me uh, valorettes on and uh, yeah my fingers are a bit slippy when you've got things in your hand so I did I just threw it on the floor so take the cover off this is the case that comes with it the case is a G9-8 uh, a G9-8 and it comes in this little cardboard wallet um, in a little bag so yeah an absolutely fantastic little case hard protective case really really nice very very impressed and the fact that you can actually zip it on the top while it's on the tripod makes it an absolute godsend we've already got on the side of it we've got our Ulanzi um, side door which you can see comes off and goes on the side it just clips on the side there and locks in place like so um, it really does it I'll just listen to you can listen to it clip into place goes on and it clips in like that. Absolutely fantastic. And the idea behind this is it's got a hot shoe and it's also got a quarter inch thread on the side. Now it's got a little door on the side of it as well. The little door's open. It's got a hole in the side so you can plug your USB-C in. Um, I've got one major problem with it and it's a massive, massive, massive problem to me. This isn't waterproof. So I use this camera mainly when it's raining. So I'm gonna to have to keep my other door with me as well so I can make sure I put it on there and lock it on because the Osmo that I'm actually filming on at the moment isn't waterproof. This is my waterproof camera. So when it's raining, I rely on this being totally watertight and I've even put it in water before now. So uh, yeah, this door, if they can convert it and make it even better, make it watertight, put a little rubber cap on there so you can just flip the cap down, that would be absolutely 100%. But other than that, it will be on the camera all the time it's not raining because it's got a hot shoe on the side and the hot shoe is absolutely perfect for do, 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 this. This is the little mini, little mini light that they've sent. This is absolutely fantastic. I love this. I've been using this the last couple of mornings and it's been absolutely brilliant. It mounts on the side of the camera. I've now got the perfect way of getting the illumination on my face in the mornings or when the bright sunlight's there, I can get a bit of illumination. There's three light settings on it. You literally press it, hold it and press it. You might not see it come on. It's on at the moment. And it's got some four little LEDs on the back which tell you that it's fully charged. Press it once, it comes on. Press it twice, it gets brighter. Press it a third time, it gets brighter still. 
and then oh fourth time it's brighter still and then it starts flashing i don't know what we use the flashing for but it might be handy if i'm stuck in the middle of nowhere and then you just press and hold and it goes off this is usb c and it's chargeable absolutely fantastic it comes in a little box uh, on the top here this is a uh, vl30 mini light uh, it comes with a little USB cable as well and it also comes with a diffuser, a little rubber diffuser that goes over the top of it which diffuses the light but I really don't think you need it, I just think it's perfect on its own, like an absolutely stunning little piece of kit, beautiful, I've used it for ages and ages and it's still on full power so I really do like that. Um, going back to the door, the little door comes in a box like this and the door is a G9-6 and they call it a multifunctional expandable battery cover, that's what they call it. Your lens has got a nice big posh name for it and that goes with this the two items go together with that you get a hot shoe on the side and uh, you've even got a hot shoe on the top of that so you can actually fit a microphone externally so you can put another microphone on the front there and you've got the perfect little rig all together but i think the volume on this works fantastic now i've got its nice little um mohican and a beard going on underneath to stop a bit of wind noise um yeah the other thing we've got we've got um yeah, the tripod. Now this is the tripod it's on. The tripod is plastic, um, but it seems to clip together. Okay, but it is plastic. Now I would have liked to have seen that have been maybe a really a, a light aluminium, a light alloy. Would have been really, really nice. But with it being plastic, it's dead light and it's just enough to hold in your hand. It's a perfect size to put in your hand. And it's got a ball head on it, which is great because it now means I can stand the tripod up because it is a tripod mount, it's not just a handle, it's got a little tripod mount so I can stand it up and I've got the ball head then to get the camera level. And then once I put this little clip on, it'll be even smaller still because I'm going to lose probably an inch off the height. So it's going to be tiny, it will actually fit in my pocket, a whole rig will fit in my pocket. But not only that, you can pull it out. So you can pull it out and you've got a proper little selfie stick. You can get a bit further away so you don't have to look up your nostrils all the time. So it's absolutely fantastic for doing a bit of vlogging. I wouldn't trust it on the tripod like that. I definitely wouldn't trust it like that. That's not what it's designed for. Um, but yeah, this is absolutely fantastic little bit of kit. It's tiny, it's lightweight, it's got a little mini ball head on it. It expands to do selfies, just so you can get that little bit of distance on it. And uh, yeah, what an absolutely fantastic kit. And the number for this is an MT-08. I'll put all the descriptions, all the links in the bottom in the description below, so please check them out. Uh, the only other thing I haven't used is the ND filter. And the ND filter is a G9-9. And it's an ND8 filter for GoPro Hero 9. So all you do is you take this out of the box. And I won't take it out because I'll end up throwing it on the floor by mistake. Um, you take it out of the box and you literally just push it on the front. I took it out yesterday and tried it and had a look at it. It's absolutely fantastic. You literally just clip it on the front. And what that will mean then is you can stop down the light. So when you get a really, really bright day and you need to stop down the light to get your aperture and everything sorted on your GoPro, that's the way to do it. Brings it down. ND8 is going to bring it down. What? It's an, uh, blah, 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 blah. ND8 is going to be what don't know how many stops that is <laughs> i've gone blank um but yeah fantastic fantastic just that's all i wanted to do a quick little video for you lanzi everything comes with stickers as well you get stickers to put on your tripod so i'm going to end up putting a sticker on my tripod same as i've got my other ones on there gopro valorette benro they're all on there i like to stick a little sticker on my tripod because when i'm videoing and stuff like that people get to see what gear i'm using so yeah that's all i wanted to do talk about that talk about this lovely little bit of kit thank you very much to you lanzi for sending it um, it's going to be absolutely perfect for my little mini vlogging kit. Uh, so the Osmo, GoPro and my M50, between the three of them, I've got the best all-round kit for uh, doing videos and stuff, I think. So, thanks for watching. If you want to ask any questions about anything, please do. Uh, I don't mind answering any questions. Build quality and stuff like that is all fine. It seems, it seems fantastic at the moment. I've only used it for a very short period of time, but I'm sure I'll get out and test it. It'd be interesting to see if this is waterproof, but then saying that I can't use, I can't use the lamp and the bracket out in the rain anyway, so it's, it's, it's irrelevant. But for early morning, it's gonna be fantastic. I'm gonna do a little clip on, on the end of this video, I will go home and screw this mount on the bottom of the camera and show you how it fits. So I'll clip that onto the end and my knees are crippled bending down like that so till next time don't forget like and subscribe i do do lots of these uh, videos when people decide to send me stuff because you don't know about it unless it's on there i've seen many many videos where i've seen gear that's thought that's interesting i like the look of that so uh, yeah it's all worthwhile i'll doing i know it's not the best thing to do if you're coming on my channel to watch videos of landscapes but i can't get out of the landscapes at the moment so till i can take care stay safe and uh, check out your lenses website
Ciao for now.